If you are a Windows user, save this video or bookmark it because I'm going to tell you 11 Windows app that will change the way you use your Windows laptop or your Windows PC. And don't worry, every single app on this list is free. Hi, I'm Ashad. You're watching Track and Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now, those who use Windows machines regularly know about Rufus, which is easily one of the best tools out there to create bootable USBs. But the problem with Rufus is that once you've created a bootable USB and you want to create one again, then you have to reformat the USB and then recreate one. We actually found a better tool to solve that problem. It's called Ventoy. And with Ventoy, you can drop multiple ISOs into a single USB drive, all without having to reformat it. And it supports all of the file formats that you would need. Also, it'll also let you enable secure boot for your ISO file. Damn useful app, damn handy. My next recommendation is Overclock Checking Tool or OCCT. Talking about overclocking, we recently built a very powerful PC to test out the 5090. If you haven't watched that video yet, we would love your support. Go check it out. A link should pop up right now. And while you're doing that, do also show us your love and hit that subscribe button because your subscription is also very important to us. Now, coming back to OCCT, it's actually used for checking the system stability of your machine. It offers real-time monitoring of your system like your RAM usage, your GPU usage, your CPU usage, all of that. What we liked about OCCT is that it's very good at detecting errors really quickly so that you can troubleshoot them. And you know what? A lot of popular reviewers actually use this tool often. You know what the best tool for sending files across multiple platforms is? Like, for example, if you want to send from an Android phone to an iPhone, from an iPhone to a PC, from an Android phone to a Mac, it is local send. Trust me, I love this tool. So how local send works is all your devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi network and you can just easily share files from one device to the other. And it's pretty fast too. I found it to be actually as fast as AirDrop and quick share. And the UI is also pretty plain and simple. You just need to open local send on both the devices. And each of these devices get a unique vegetable name, like a certain legendary anime. If you guys know what we are talking about, let us know in the comments. I know that a lot of you folks might have already tried out local send, but if you have any better alternatives, do let us know. We'd love to check that out as well. Now, unlike Mac, you do get a lovely clipboard manager on Windows, which is one of the reasons why I sometimes want to use Windows. But no, I still will use Mac. But the problem is you can't copy multiple things. Say, for example, you want to copy different bits of text from a huge paragraph and you want to save that in the clipboard. You will have to do that individually. Like you'll have to do Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. But with Clip Shelf, that's not a problem. Because with a free version of Clip Shelf, you can actually copy and paste five bits of information and save it to your you know, clipboard at the same time. Now, the pro version of the app is 219 rupees and it's a one-time cost and I think it's totally worth spending for it because of all the extra features that you get with it. Now, RGB enthusiasts, I am definitely not one of them, have one problem that they face apparently when they're building a system. Because generally when you're building a PC, you pick up components from multiple vendors. Instead of that, just use Signal RGB. It's like a universal remote for RGBs. This one app lets you control the RGB settings for all of the components in your build. And the final app is F.Lux or Flux. And this is something that I've been using for a long time. It's one of those apps that does one thing really well. It basically reduces your eye strain by reducing the blue light and making your display warmer, especially at night. Now you must be like, hey, Ashad, listen, Windows has it. It's called Nightlight. Don't be a noob. Well, I know Windows has it, but Flux does it one level better. It automatically adjusts your display's color temperature based on your location's sunrise and sunset timings. And you know what? You can even fine tune the color temperature from 2700K to 6500K, which is very, very useful. So Flux is better than Nightlight. But I know that it's an old app, but I really like it. I really wanted to recommend it. So I'm recommending it. Now let me tell you about the five apps that we absolutely love here at Track & Tech. Starting off with one commander, which is basically the file explorer used in Windows, but on crack. The first feature that I like of One Commander is dual pane layout. So for example, if you open two folders, you don't need to have two separate windows. You can have those two folders within the same window. You also get quick previews where if you hover your mouse over uh, an icon, it'll show you a thumbnail. And just by hitting the space bar, you can get a quick preview of it. And since I love the breadcrumb style path bar in Mac, I could replicate that with One Commander on PC as well. And if you have a very old PC and you feel like your file explorer feels very bloated, just use one commander. It's much faster. My next recommendation is going to be Windhawk. It's basically a marketplace for Windows 11 mods and it has a huge community behind it. There are many mods in this marketplace and installing them helps you change the look, the feel and the behavior of Windows itself. For example, there's a taskbar volume control mod. In this mod, you basically just need to hover your mouse to the taskbar and 
you know push your scroll wheel up and down and the volume will go up and down there are many mods like these for you to try out it's a treasure trove out there all right my next recommendation is called bleach bit it has nothing to do with the anime though this is an open source privacy focused app that helps you clear out your junk in windows and it does it very well very efficiently so it works on a per app basis. Say for example, you want to just remove cookies from your Chrome, then it lets you see all of the cookies that are there. You can automatically delete all of those cookies, send it to junk, or you can individually manually select each one of them and delete them as well. It also overwrites all of the deleted files to prevent recovery, which is good for your privacy and safety. So if you're somebody who's using CC Cleaner, don't use this instead this is a better app in our previous video we had recommended power toys run if you wanted to create max spotlight search on windows but we found something better actually this time around and it's called flow launcher now why is it better because there are added plugins on top of the spotlight search or flow launcher search that is created on windows and these plugins felt really useful to me for example you can even look up your system settings from within this search in fact you have plugins for coding as well so if you want python on your spotlight search then you can do that as well you can search within your bookmarks you can shut down your computer it's pretty deep and intense in terms of functionality i would say and that's not it it also looks very good and blends together well with the windows 11 design itself it legit looks like a first party app for windows and trust me i don't know how they're giving it out for free if you have multiple pcs or multiple laptops at home then you must install mouse without borders how cool is that name? I think it's possibly the best name for a software that I've ever heard. So you need to install this app on both the devices first. After that, there is a unique device identification key that is created for each of these machines. And voila, that's it. And after this, legit, you can move your mouse from one PC to the other PC or one laptop to other laptop. And of course, you also do have access to the keyboard. So if you're typing on one laptop, it can show up on the other one. You can copy paste text and you can also drag and drop files up to 100 MB. All right, so these were the 11 Windows 11 apps that we have for you. Not really a novel title, but you know what, we're sticking to it. We like it. Anyway, try these apps out. Let me know what you guys think, which one is your favorite. And if you have any more recommendations, do let us know in the comments. Now, I know that a lot of folks have asked us, Eshad, make something similar for Mac. Say, for example, I get 100 comments on this video from Mac users saying, I want a video, then I will make it. See you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.